Okay. Hi. And welcome to more Demon Souls. Uh <clears throat> I make no promises that this entire stream will be Demon Souls just because uh I might get salty and I make no promises to stick with the get to stick with the game for the entire like Three and a half hour duration. Uh, also, give me just a sec. <clears throat> Sorry, left my jacket on the other side of the room. <clears throat> so, I guess let's get started. But yeah, we might switch over to, like, Stardew or something. If, uh, I get too upset. Just gonna assign that to that so it's easy to get to. Oh. I mean, this is where I want to go. Hopefully, ever hopefully everything still like looks and sounds good, cause I uh, I upgraded some. Ah, crap. I uh, swapped out my processor in my computer. And so I had to unplug everything from it. And so, when I went and plugged everything back in, I'm not entirely sure that I got everything back in its correct spots. But... Frickin' manta rays. Sea pancakes. Ow. Why did that do, like, all of my health? But yeah, it feels like it feels like it's been a while since I've played Demon Souls, but it's it hasn't been too too long. I would like for you to strafe to the left. Thank you. I wonder if there... I wonder if there is a uh, spell that heals. Fuck off. It's so dumb that these guys can just, like, chip you.
Why? Why did I do that? That wasn't even- that wasn't even the game's fault. That was entirely mine. But yeah, also, uh, start- sorry for the late start. I got caught up in some, uh... I got caught up in watching some of uh, friends play, uh, FPS chess. Which is chess, but, uh, when you try to take a piece, it becomes a first-person shooter. And yes, it's as crazy as it sounds. And it's multiplayer as well, so you can actually challenge a friend to it. But yeah, also, uh, Spoods made a, a very funny thumbnail for, uh, <clears throat> for the collab stream as, like, a joke. Spoods made a joke thumbnail and also a real thumbnail, but I'll, I'll show the joke thumbnail on stream. What? Okay, that was some bullshit. But yeah, Spoods, Spoods drew, like, a Hollow Knight randomizer thumbnail, like, in MS Paint. And it looks fantastic. While also being very shit posty. <laughs> I like how there's like a fifty fifty chance. Of the other skeleton, the spinning skeleton, just rolling off the edge. Really? I am never not going to be salty about that, because getting chipped by something that you can't attack back in literally any outside area is kind of stupid. I just want to get past this. That seems to be doing a lot less damage than I remember it doing. What? Just casually hit me through a wall. How in the world did I have 11,000 souls there, by the way? What did I kill that dropped that many souls? But yeah, I hope that y'all are doing good tonight. Work was long, but it's always nice to come home and then, when I'm feeling up to it, be able to do stream.
Please move. Did that get rid of the, uh, it did. Nice. Fingers crossed for a shortcut back up to the top. Tch. Ah, yes. Here, have this shitty little healing item. Man, those guys drop a lot of souls, though. Man, the fact that there's fog here scares me, because that means that I might have to do a boss run back down here. Oh, wait, no, it's this. Okay, no, this isn't, but... Gosh, magic just tears into those guys. Dang it. Good to know where that enemy is so that I can kill that one instead of having to fight each individual smaller one. Also good to know that uh, the weird ghost fish things, ghost fish dude things, <clears throat> uh, take a lot of damage from magic. But yeah, I don't know if there's a uh, a healing spell. Well, goodbye those 20,000 souls. That was entirely because I let go of the, uh, run button. Like, it just decided to roll after I let go of the button. Yeah, man, those guys are worth, like, 800 apiece.
Okay. And then she's back over here. I like how it doesn't just make them disappear, it kills them all, so it gives you the experience still. Or, not experience, the souls. Wow. Really? Really? Oh, that's the scythe. I was like, what the heck is this vibrating thing in the wall? It's the scythe. Oh, this looks like a fun area. I very much get the feeling that I don't want to touch those white things. Yeah, my feeling was correct. Why do you have item particles above you? I know there's probably items for me to find in there. Is this the boss? Well, the uh, fog didn't go away, so I would assume yes. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> I'm very scared of this. Who is this man, and why is he here? Slap his ass. Hero looks pretty young to me. Oh, I'm out of magic.
Hi, I'm sorry. <sighs> no idea what this issue is. Like, I haven't found a fix for this stupid issue. And I don't know what side it's on, so I don't know how to even go about trying to fix it. I beat the boss. And it's frustrating that I don't have that footage anymore. Hopefully the uh, video file for the... Uh... Hopefully the video file for that first chunk is uh, still intact, but it might be corrupted and probably is, knowing how OBS works. Um... Forty-six thousand souls. What do we want to do with those? I can forge weapons for you. What do I need? You know, if I really wanted to, I could definitely do that. I'm pretty strong myself. He's a beast, I tell you. The man must eat dragon tails and wrestle stones. And you heed my advice to avoid crossing him. I reckon he prove a lot more trouble than most demons. <laughs> <laughs> no interest, I can tell you, not going to last long. Uh, I want to check the, uh... You have your wits about you. Soul arrow, flame toss... I was defeated and captured by the golden usurper past that cell. Be wary of him, for he manipulates souls. Hmm. He has power over vile, murky souls, those susceptible to madness and paranoia. Uh, no, this isn't New Game Plus. This is just from a brand new game. I can still be patient. What is it? Yes. Oh, this is better than having you bother Master Freak. I see. So also, uh, welcome in... Uh... I'm just gonna call you Ander. I don't know how... Platina. But either way, welcome in. How are you doing tonight, or today, depending on what time zone you're in? Oh wait, uh, I should buy... Grass first. I have some precious new stuff. Um... I've already, uh, 
killed him, Patches. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, levels. I can only do two levels. Wow. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Arthur, may thy strength... And now I will go buy more grass. I have some precious leaves. Patches, the grass dealer. Good gear. Yeah, I should send some. Um... I definitely don't need these. Wait, bleeding? I wonder if bleed functions like it does in other games, or... Also, holy crap, the Dark Moon Grass weighs 8. Is that 8 per, or is that 8 total? Hey, Nasu. Don't worry, you haven't... You missed me uh, killing a boss on the first attempt, but half that uh, attempt got cut off by the stream crashing. So, you know. Fun, as usual. But yeah, how are you doing today, Nasu? You know, I know that I could probably get, like, an extra one just by dumping my rings. <clears throat> Tired, as per usual. I feel that. I feel that, but it's also nice to just vibe with stream. <clears throat> and hopefully... Oh. Oh. Oh, are we having a manta ray boss fight? Is this where this is? I have seen this fight. Also, might I might I uh, say the funny thing? Uh, this is literally just the uh, sky manta boss fight from Minish Cap. To be fair, though, Nautilus, this gimmick fight looks cool as hell.
Eh, fair. Some of the gimmick fights from this game can be a bit of a pain. Like, uh, the de or Dragon God. I know how this fight works, I just don't know where the sword is. It's literally right here. I love, like, I love that they reused this, uh, fight gimmick in, uh, in DS3. Like, this fight gimmick is so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's an absolute, like... That is one of the absolute worst ways to do a gimmick boss. Where is the big manta ray? Do I have to strike down the rest of them to get to the big manta ray? Eat the grass, please. I pressed square, like, four times. Like, yeah, like... Yeah, honestly, I do think that this one is better than Yorm the Giant, but, like... Gosh, this is such a cool set piece. Good boss fight? That's arguable. Cool set piece? No one can argue that this isn't badass as all hell. Why did that do no damage? Strike him down. Uh... Which fight is Rickard? Or Rikard? Is that from, uh, Elden Ring? Because I haven't played a whole lot of Elden Ring. It's from Elden Ring. Okay. Really? Thanks, Storm Ruler. My favorite fight that I've done in uh, Elden Ring is probably Radon. Really? Like, the fact that it's basically like an MMO raid fight is super cool. Yeah, Radon was the spectacle fight. Not to mention that that fight is actually difficult. And not really a... Like... As much as it has a gimmick, it is not a gimmick fight. I was about to say, how in the world did all of those miss me? Did Radon used to be harder?
I really wish that the Storm Ruler stayed a good weapon after this fight. But it just kind of turns into another Ultra Greatsword. Or Greatsword, I guess. It's not an Ultra Greatsword. There we go. Ah. Well, that was cool. Thanks for the hydrate, Spoods. Also, uh... While you while Spoods is here, I need to show off the thumbnail, the uh, joke thumbnail. Uh, give me a sec. Spoods, were you here for when the uh, were you here for when the stream crashed? Here it is. <laughs> Mar Marvel in its excellence. You will not find a better thumbnail. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, uh... I wonder what the Storm Ruler uses to, uh, it is a pure physical, it only has 10 durability, wow. Huh. Interesting. Is there another section after this, or...? I mean, I should go back to the Nexus anyway to level up, but... Is that all there is here? Are there only th Are there only three sections per, uh... Per area? Like, per world? Okay. Um. Where is the maiden in black? Here she is. Thou seek the touch, soul of the mind, the key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be um. I think that's good. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave. It makes me sad that the Emerald Herald doesn't have any more dialogue than that. Oh wait, uh... Yeah, it is this that I wanted to... Refill up. So. 
I guess we're going back to the, uh, <clears throat> very fun, uh, Poison Swamp. Also, Spoods, if you're still here, I wanna- I wanna say something about the MS Paint thumbnail that I really enjoy. Uh, I love that you didn't, like, use the text tool to draw out the, uh, like, date on it. Or the actual text. You just drew it, like, with your mouse in MS Paint. You got that authentic, uh... uh unironically, though, at some point, I do kind of want to do, like... Draw drawing with mouse is very hard. I do actually kind of want to do an MS Paint thumbnail for something at some point. I just don't know what to make it. But, like, an MS Paint thumbnail is in, like, redrawing something in MS Paint. <clears throat> like, I want to... I want to redraw... I want to try redrawing something in MS Paint to make it into a thumbnail. Oh, uh, do I have a whetstone on me? I do. <clears throat> I mean, I've drawn with a mouse a couple times, just out of, like, not having anything better. And now that I have the, uh... Now that I have a, uh, drawing tablet proper, like, I feel like my art skills have drastically improved. Granted, that's also just because I've been drawing more often, but... <coughs> Gosh, my throat is dry. Oh, Spoods, I also totally forgot to tell you while we were in VC earlier. Uh, chat tried to waterboard me yesterday. <laughs> oh, I was looking away. Foods, th this that's happening right now with Nautilus is what a very large portion of stream was like yesterday. Nautilus, how many uh, hydrate redeems did you just... How many points did you just spend doing that? <laughs> That was seven of them, so 700. I don't know, but last night, last night, uh, Labba went absolutely ham with it. Like, Labba dumped their... I, I feel like Labba dumped their entire, uh... Like, channel point reserves on just redeeming Hydrate repeatedly. But yeah. Spoods, do you want do you want me to show the actual thumbnail that we're using? Oh. Oops. Weird. Please buy more. How many years since 
since that witch Astraea came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, it's true. She's as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Not that it surprises me. I think I think I'm gonna not show the other thumbnail now just because I don't have it downloaded. Rats. Please. Rats. Man, I really don't like this area. This area is very much enemy spam. Really? There was that. Rats of Nim, but evolved to be scary. I don't think I've ever seen... Secret... Uh, wait. What are you, uh... Just to... Make sure that I'm getting the right thing. What are you referencing, Spoods? Really? Of course I missed. You know, I'm gonna stick throwing daggers on this because they are very rarely useful here. Okay, yeah, I was- okay. Ow. Rude. Um, yeah, I don't know why, like, uh, what was I getting Secret of Nim confused with? Like, <clears throat> I have no clue what I was mixing it up with, but I was mixing it up with something. Welcome to the fight. Great. Thank you, Dark Souls messaging system, for telling me that there's a boss fight. Oh, fun. Is this gonna be a snake pile? Are these snakes or are these fish? Or leeches? Wow. Okay. Game Design 101 from Software. Don't make, don't put a cut, don't set me facing a ledge, literally single step away from the, from the ledge, like, after a cutscene. Please.
Spoods, maybe I'm gonna give you some uh, beautiful mouse-drawn uh, art for when we do Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. MS Paint drawn Ike. Gosh, this, uh, this area is very not well-equipped for, uh, sprinting past enemies to get to the boss. This area very much expects you to... Great. This area very much expects you to hike all the way back to the boss, killing every enemy multiple times. And the worst part is that they don't even give, like, any experience. Yeah, Spoods, I thought I told you that, uh... I was... I told you that I was doing a Chain of Memories soonish, because I think Chain of Memories is what I'm doing next. Because it came second place on the poll. And, uh, Fire Emblem came third, so... Though, I do need more games for the, uh, poll. And I've got a, uh, room in the Discord for suggesting games for that, actually. Jack and Dexter. Demon Souls, please. Please. Fuck. That room specifically is really dumb. Like, there is, there is no correct way to uh, deal with that room. Because no matter what, you're gonna just get jumped by every single enemy in a 10 mile radius. I will say, I am uh, very glad that they improved the quality of life of the boss run back in every subsequent game. And then improved upon it further by straight up removing it in Elden Ring <laughs> in a lot of cases. Honestly, though, this, the uh, stake of the stakes of America in Elden Ring are so good. What did you read Stake of America as, Nautilus? Statue of, Mar of America. Okay. Yeah, thanks, thank game. Backstab, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it is a little statue, so... Yeah, 
It's a statue that also so happens to be a uh, stake, like the type of stake that you put in a ground, in the ground. In a ground. <laughs> yes, one of many grounds. How did you poise break me with one hit? But yeah, the, the stakes of Mirica, like, holy crap, they are such quality of life improvers. Stake of Mirica. <laughs> Which is funny, because I think that the default Twitch emote set has an American flag in it. Or I might just be thinking of like, WHAT?! No, I think I might just be thinking of Android default emojis. Yeah, probably. To be fair, I haven't actually taken a look at Twitch's default emojis in a while. The only default Twitch emoji that I use is, uh, I use the, uh, purple heart. If you've, uh, raided with me, you will have seen me use it, most likely. The less than three. So, random thing, I found out the other night when uh, Lapis and I were setting up uh, Hollow Knight Rando that someone made a mod, Dark Moon Grass, jeez. Um, I found out that uh, someone made a mod for Hollow Knight that uh, gives the uh, camera a filter over it that turns everything into uh, ASCII symbols. Really? I hate how poison in, in this game specifically is like a binary thing. Like, all it takes is like one hit to get poisoned or plagued or whatever. But yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to take a deeper look. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to take a deeper look at, uh, and see if I can find what's causing the issue with OBS, where it just, like, locks up and 
stream dies. It might have something to do with me uh, recording while streaming. But... But yeah, Nautilus is in... I don't know how I don't know how you would pronounce it, but I I've only ever heard it pronounced ASCII. Come on. I hate that. I... <sighs> okay. Uh... I'm about, I'm about to hit you with some, uh, scathing words here. Um... The... I think that this remake is faithful to the original game to a fault. Oh, don't worry, I've already fell off multiple times and Also, hi is <laughs> Chief Soba. <laughs> like Man, I will say, like, maybe it's just because I've played the other Souls games, but, like... Okay, see you, Nautilus. Maybe it's just because I've played the other Souls games, but, like... Man. This game, in some places, just... Really lacks... Some of the some of the stuff that I enjoy from, like, the, uh, the later Souls games. And slightly improved, uh, d doesn't Demon Souls Remake control slightly better as well? Or, well, much better, actually, because I've heard that the original Demon Souls is very, uh, crusty. It lacks it, possibly because it was experimental at the time. Yeah, fair. To be fair, like, I do... I enjoyed this game. But... I will say that I think that... In terms of just, like, overall enjoyment of playing the game... I think that I in... I think that I enjoy... Almost every other Souls game more than this... Just because, like, some of this game's difficulty comes from very artificial difficulty. Oh, I love Bloodborne. Like, I love Bloodborne. I, I streamed Bloodborne a little while ago, and I, I platinumed it. <laughs> Yeah. I just- I think that- I think that it's mainly an issue of, like, um... Demon Souls hadn't really figured out. <laughs> Does New Game Plus really do that? Jeez. Thanks, lock on camera. I think part of my issue with Demon Souls is just like 
a lot of the bosses in this game are not great. <laughs> And I think that's mainly an issue of, like, you know, the, uh, the game, you know, being a first of its kind. Ow. Rude. Rude? How am I not taking damage from the guy behind me swinging at me? The line of rats! Oh, did the big guy fall off? Mm. Yeah. Honestly, like, as much as I love Bloodborne, I don't think Bloodborne is a particularly amazing place to start. Just because it's, it also has a very steep learning curve. Really? Honestly, I think that probably Elden Ring at this point is the easiest one to get into. DS3 is also a very good starting point. I started with DS1. And, like, that wasn't, like, you know, back when DS1 came out, I played it. It was a, uh... I played DS1 Remastered. Uh... Like, two months before Elden Ring came out. <laughs> And honestly, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed DS1. Started with Neo. I haven't played Neo yet. I've heard that it's really good. Okay, let's not walk off the ledge immediately. But yeah, like, I don't know. I think... Ow. Rude. Is that... Are you talking about the, uh, second boss of Neo? Oh. Okay. Uh, as I have found unpopular opinion, I actually really enjoy Orphan of Kos. Like... A lot of people seem to hate it. Including some of my friends, but I really like Orphan of Kos. Granted, I don't think it's a perfect fight. What I do think is the perfect fight is the Lady Maria fight. <laughs> like, holy crap, the Lady Maria fight is so good. Like, it cannot be overstated how cool that fight is. That didn't even give me, like, any souls. What the hell? Rude game. Uh... 
going off of... Technically speaking, I have played every Souls game, except for this one, which this is my first playthrough. Um, and Sekiro, if you count Sekiro. <laughs> I... I think that I really don't like the Flame Lurker, and the main reason why I don't like the Flame Lurker is that I don't know if I was just being bad or if I was underleveled or something, but it felt like I was doing absolutely no damage to him. In addition to the fact that his hits were taking out almost all of my health, and, uh, the hitbox is being janky. Yeah, he's hella weak to magic. That's how that's how I beat him, is that I used the, uh, white goo. The white goo that enchants your sword. I do really want... Like, that's also part of the reason why I picked up the, uh, enchanted weapon. The, uh... I think that the boss of, of this game that I, like, hate the most... Which will probably surprise people for the people that watched me do the Flame Lurker fight... Uh, is probably the, uh, false idol. <laughs> oh, fun. Jeez. Yeah, like... I don't know. It's less of a... I hate false idol on a... Uh, on, like, an actual fight circumstance. It's just the concept... That you can get screwed over... For not randomly killing an NPC is really bullshit and is exactly what I'm talking about when I say uh, this game's bosses rely on artificial difficulty a lot because there's nothing like requiring a completely unrelated thing to uh, make your game harder I guess it's not technically completely unrelated, but... Hmm... Ow, rude. Can't dodge in the soup. Why are these healing like nothing? What the hell? Which is funny, because I'm using... Oh wait, this is the uh, plus two sword, not the uh, plus seven sword. I've got the... I'm using the plus two dragon sword, just because it its fire damage shreds through stuff. But for boss fights, I've been using the uh, magic... Um, I've been using the magic spell. That is an invader. 
Or not an invader, it's the NPC invader, whatever. Yeah, I figured. Oh, great. Another, uh funny reused enemy that they used in Dark Souls that sucks. <laughs> that is a very unfortunate uh, string of typos there. <laughs> Yeah. They- I- I meant, like, they reused it in Dark Souls. But yeah, like, I don't know. I don't think, like... I think that the standout boss fights in this game mainly just stand out due to, like, the spectacle of them more than the actual quality of the boss fight. Namely, um... The, uh... The, uh, Storm King fight is cool as hell. Which I just did earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, why was that healing so little last time I ate one of those? Yeah. I definitely- I'm not one of those people that's like, different equals bad, but like... Some of the- some of the gimmicks for the fights in this game are just- this ain't it. Ooh, Black Pinerism. Oh, okay. Is that true in other Souls games? Am I just not aware of that as a Souls mechanic? Or is that just in this game? Bloodborne does it? I don't think I got poisoned very often in Bloodborne. I think most of my getting... Wait, I've seen this area before, now that I'm seeing this. Uh, I've seen this area, uh, wet, uh, in a video of somebody complaining about how poorly this area runs in, uh, in Demon Souls Classic. DS3 doesn't have it. Ah, oh, lovely. Slugs. But yeah, like, if there- if there's one thing that I will give to Demon Souls, I definitely think that this has some of the best, like, atmosphere out of any of the Souls games. Like, holy crap, this game knows how to set its mood. 
I am going to die. Accurate name. I've never been a fan of the uh, whole idea of like, nah, you can't roll. It's like, I swear, I'm I'm not trying to be overly negative. I want to go back and uh, play... Yeah... Bloodborne's atmosphere is really good as well. Honestly, it's like, it's like a toss-up for me between Demon Souls and Bloodborne. It might just be because of what Bluepoint has done. To Demon Souls, like, giving it a facelift. If you need help. Uh, I think I'm good for now. But yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a Souls game without a poison swamp. And I find it really funny because uh, everyone is always like, "Oh, but Bloodborne doesn't have a poison swamp," and Bloodborne very much does have a poison swamp. Granted, I do believe that the Poison Swamp in Bloodborne is an optional area. I don't remember if you are forced to go to the Nightmare Frontier in Bloodborne. But it is, in fact, a Poison Swamp. Really. But yeah, like... <laughs> I find it really funny that, like, uh... Elden Ring has multiple in it. Like, I find that absolutely hilarious. Also... What? Oh. The upper one's required to get to wet nurse. Hmm. Yeah. Really did. The OG poison swamp. So, uh... I was gonna say this earlier, but I totally forgot to actually finish my sentence. Um, one of these days, I want to go back and I want to go and finish Code Vein. Because, like, I remember Code Vein being decent. But I also played it before I played any other Souls game. So, technically speaking, it's... It was my first Souls-like, but I only made it about halfway through.
I wonder if uh, this game has a ring, like in Dark Souls 1. The ring that lets you walk in the swamp easier. I get the feeling no, but it does. Mm. Let me guess, it's hidden in the swamp. Also, thanks for the follow, Chief Soba. Knowing, knowing how much this game loves to just be an asshole, it really would not surprise me if it was like, yeah, you can have a ring that speeds up your movement in the swamp. It's knee-deep in the swamp. You have to have pure black world tendency in Upper Latria. World Tendency certainly is an interesting mechanic. I can see why people hate it. That's how you get the ring. Yeah. Well, you gain, like, points towards black by dying in human form, right? Yeah. Killing NPCs makes it go down. Yeah, if you kill a boss, it, it goes up by a lot if you kill a boss, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, uh, you seem to know a lot about this game. Do, um... Do you... Like, can you only be invaded if you, uh... If you are in human form, is are is being human like the embers and humanity of this game? What was that? <sighs> yeah, I don't understand how character tendency works. I also don't understand, like... Because I thought that I hit pure black world tendency to get a spot in the Tower of Latria, but I didn't. It affects the Nexus. Oh, wait, I'm stuck in the other chunk of the area. Great.
I think that, like, I think that the world tendency idea is a solid idea, because it gives your game replay value. Because, like, you know, if you're better at the game, you're gonna have more, like, white world tendency. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wait, do I not have... Hmm. Uh, do I not have the archstone that I need to go to for the, uh, ring? Upper Latria, okay. I'm just gonna use some ephemeral stones and... Oh, wait, I'm already... Is this pure white or is this almost pure white? World Tendency. It's pure white. Mm-hmm. Shame I'll have to ruin it, then. Pure black has a purple glow to it. Eh. It is pure black that I need, right? Time to taint the world tendency. Uh, is it the one up at the top of the tower over there that, like, uh, you have to, you have to, uh, like, hit a certain world tendency so a bridge spawns so you can go higher in the tower? Why am I not losing world tendency? Why is it still pure white? No, that's pure white. Why am I still pure white? I'm supposed to be losing world tendency. What the hell? Also, are you sure about that? Because last time I checked, I couldn't get to that.
the thing at the very, very top of this tower up here. Hey, uh... Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna... Wow, that took a really long time for me to die. Yeah. Can I actually do more of this area. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that looked at this and saw that and thought that this guy got stabbed in the dick. I should not be trying to parry. What? Those goons are allergic to dying. Huh. Good to know that the good old poke Poke strats still work. Where did the other guy go? Oh. Hey, buddy, come here. No, I haven't killed Penetrator. Penetrator's the boss of this area. Somebody at FromSoft during the development of uh, the first 
two Souls games, so Demon Souls and Dark Souls, uh, someone had a dirty mind. Because, uh, you know, you got the Penetrator, and you got Ceaseless Discharge. What do you mean my armor is damaged? Yeah, they can be, but it was mainly the dude with the crossbow that was being a pain in the ass. I'm going to use a whole bunch of hard souls. Oh, I'm also going to buy some grass with that. Oh, it's because I could only hold that much. Eh, I've used a couple of them. They're mainly used for magic in this game, right? Like, they don't really... Yeah. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go to the mines. What exactly do I need to upgrade my normal sword? One large hardstone shard and six small ones. Okay. Do I have that? No, nah, I don't think I have that. Oh wait, this is the wrong way. I hated this area going through it the first time. I want to go to the uh, hidden little room with all the crystal lizards. But it's over here that where that is.
Eh, fair. Also, uh... I don't want to be, uh, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but, uh, I do use, uh, she, her pronouns. I'm not usually the type to, uh... Really be a... To really correct people, but... Oh, and of course they all. Oh, I thought that... I'm sorry. I thought that uh, you were trying to include me in the uh, guys have anger issues statement. Excuse me? The hell was that? <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry, that was my that was my misunderstanding. But yes, the the pick the pickaxe guys. I thought uh the pickaxe guys do have anger issues. They really do suck. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nice. Well, uh... That was interesting. <laughs> Good bozo. What do you mean? What did the PS4 cra like have in terms of crashing issue? Watch this is going to tell me off for not shutting the game down properly. PS5 is just a reskin PS4. It's a reskin PS4 with a uh, ray tracing. And an SSD instead of an HDD. I don't think I've ever had a uh PS4 great four game crash on me like that. I wonder if that's like a memory leak issue or something. <laughs> Happens when you have too many games installed. I have very few games installed. <laughs> or when you turn it off too much. Weird. Ow. Rude.
Huh. Weird. Was that, like, just a PS4 in general issue? Or was that, like, the fat PS4? I could have sworn that you're supposed to give the Dragon God Demon Soul to this guy to be able to upgrade certain weapons or something. I don't need time what? I could be a blacksmith. It's a PlayStation thing. Mm. we go. Wait, what? Oh, it's because of my item burden. Okay. I need six, please. Okay, and yeah, I can't upgrade that anymore. <laughs> I don't think I've ever encountered someone using their height as a conversation starter. That's your bio on Tinder. <laughs> um... I guess I'm gonna burn through some of these demon souls. Holy shit! 54,000? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty six thousand? Holy shit. I've been sleeping on the demon souls. Wow, that, uh, I guess I've hit the, uh, the point of diminishing returns.
Okay. Back to the swamp, because I don't want to try to find the ring. If I have too much trouble with this, I'll look it up between episodes. And maybe grind out Black Soul- or Black World Tendency. Wow, the fire damage from the, uh, dragon grace, or from the dragon sword is just that good, isn't it? Okay. Honestly, I really wonder how a speedrun of this game looks. Because, like, speedruns of other Souls games are crazy. They tend to use magic builds a lot, because magic builds tend to shred everything at stupidly high levels. Take a look at a Dark Souls 1 speedrun and you'll know what I'm talking about. You let you uh, use a glitch to gain a ton of souls, and then uh, use those souls to level your uh, your intelligence to I think it's like eighty something, and you just plow through everything with a soul spear, and uh, what is it? Uh, the smaller sh soul spear. Wait a minute. Why am I doing this? I can just do this. Through the swamp. Thief ring. Cool. Dark Moon Grass. That knowing me, I'm probably never gonna use. There's the Fog Gate. I think I healed my poison too soon. Oh, nope. Swamp.
Like, honestly, I don't think that this swamp would be nearly as bad if I could actually dodge roll in the swamp. Really? Nice frame one attack. Unreactable attack. How awful do you think this place smells? I think it would smell pretty awful. All things considered, considering that you're walking in knee-deep, or waist-deep stagnant water. Yeah. Yeah, I find it really odd that the game doesn't give you the bars. But maybe that's just because I'm used to the, how other Souls games do it. By giving you the bars for the status effects. But yeah, I love... <laughs> It's really funny, like, I don't, like, I hate Poison Swamps as much as the next girl, but, like, at the same time, I have a weird sort of appreciation for most of them. Because, like, most of them aren't the worst. It's just kind of annoying. Like, I don't think that, like, the one in, uh... I don't think that the one in Bloodborne is awful. I don't think that the one in, uh... The one in DS3 is a bit annoying. But, um... Oh, wait, there's no place to stand here? I do really enjoy how this game uses its haptic feedback. Because, like, when a big enemy is, like, stomping around, you can feel it in the haptic feedback. Ah, shit. I didn't even mean to backstab that guy.
Come on. I keep thinking that the green from the Crescent Moon Grass is what is the uh, poison healing item, but... Grass jelly. I haven't had any of that since I, uh, since I started, because that was the starting gift I chose. Don't know why I chose that as my starting gift, but... It's the only one of the items that I actually knew what it did. Okay. I swear, the backstab hitboxes in this game are a bit jank, aren't they? What? Consume grass. I'm sure it's got some nutritional value. I knew it. That's why I didn't go in for a third strike immediately. It's because I was scared I was going to bounce off the log, and I did. Okay, what beauty will we have to face this time? Dirty Colossus. Catch me with the backswing. Rude. 
I knew. Am I, like, severely overleveled for this fight? Dark Moon Grass. Because, like, that felt really easy. I keep wanting to call the Maiden in Black the Emerald Herald, because I've had DS2 on the mind lately. Um, let's put those points into Endurance. Why, game? Why did you just randomly decide to spin the camera like that? <laughs> this is another fight that I have actually seen. Welcome to the fight that is made in Astraea. Gosh, that's such a cool looking suit of armor. Go forth, Galvin. May you be unharmed. I'm sorry, Garl Vinland. Because we need that demon soul to. Right do you have? <laughs> we need that we demon soul to literally fast. summon a great we old one. Be. Would you like to come over here, please? Can you move? <sighs> Can you parry two handed weapons like that? He just refuses to move. He doesn't want to fight proper. 
So I'm not fighting proper either. I'm just gonna poke him until he dies. Oh, please don't heal yourself. You healed yourself, you piece of shit. Now I don't feel bad about killing you. You can't... That's not how that weapon works. Excuse me. Bro. Bro! This is it. This is the whole boss fight right here. He's trying to parry me, this stupid bitch. I'm sorry, Estrella. I need your demon soul. Thank you for your armor. It's cool as hell. I'm sorry. Oh, fun. Plague Swamp. Quickly, before we die. Does that mean that we just need to do a uh, penetrator? No, 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 don't venture. Yep, I'm that good. I will thank you later, Patches. You're great. I do believe that I need to dump some inventory stuff. Uh, that should be good. Am I getting close to the end of this game? Because, like, it's really weird. This game has, like, really weird feeling progression. Where, like, you simultaneously feel like you're making a lot of progress and no progress at the same time. Uh, 
Okay. Rude. Throwing a firebomb at me in melee. Didn't anybody ever tell you how ranged attacks in D&D work? If you range attack in melee, you have to attack at disadvantage. I wanted to show off, but I cost me health. <laughs> Am I at a capped inventory of new moon grass? Because if so, that's kind of crazy. There goes the thieves. Everything seems to be dropping new moon grass now. You are a red eye knight, my good sir. There we go. Got that parry. Yeah, I think I am actually capped on New Moon Grass, which is kind of nuts. Why do you have so much health? Oh, whoa. There are a lot of enemies back here now. These polearm dudes are a pain in the ass. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Perish. <laughs> Gosh, like, parrying in Souls games is so good, and it's especially good in Demon Souls, where, uh, like, holy shit, I love the parry animations in Demon Souls.
I get the feeling that I'm gonna be burning through a lot of the, uh, spice. Wow, I remember when these uh, Red Eye Knights were more scary. They always make the ranged enemies in these games do a lot of damage. Gosh, this area is huge. Eight half moon grass. Wow. Oh, hey, it's you again. Please don't get in my way like you did last time. I swear, I always feel like I'm not talking enough during these, uh, Souls game streams, just because, like, it's hard to commentate over these. Hey. You saved my life. This is the third time. I am truly indebted to you. This is all I have. But please accept it. Now I must go. My father, the king, awaits me. No, take this back. My father. My f A lance is going to kill you, dude. What is this blue? Is that a summon sign for help, or is that a... I would assume that's a summon sign for help. I forgot to... put on... magic. This is definitely a firebomb hallway. I like how that arrow went, like, right between my legs.
You know, this man seems to project himself being jolly. That man is terrified of me currently, because I've already killed, like, four of his friends. I say as I'm immediately terrified of those. Mul like, I can handle one Red Knight, and but multiple at once is a bit much. I love this armor. Holy shit. I cannot overstate how cool that armor set is. Now is not the time for my arm to go numb. So, when does the penetration start, Mr. Penetrator? Game lock, please. This weapon is also super cool. There we go. First try penetrator. First try penetration. Hey, buddy. Well, that was a really cool fight. I actually really enjoyed that fight. Oh, you can only hold ten of the new moon grass? Hmm.
Oh wait, uh, we're going to over here. Oh wow, I actually just do more damage with my, uh, normal sword swings to these guys. That's crazy. Ah, yes. My old, my old nemesis. The Gank Squad. Hey, you want to come over here? Come over here. <laughs> Stop trying to chip me with a bow. Wait a minute. I just realized, is that supposed to be... Are these guys supposed to be the, uh... The king's, like, guards? What? I need to watch that again. Wow. Oh, wait, they don't respawn. Ah, yes, Dex Fighter. Because, uh, that- the dude with the big shield, he's using the same shield as the, uh... The Tower Knight. A little mapping never hurt anyone. What? Rude. Don't pull magic out of nowhere. 
At least I telegraphed to you that I had magic. This AI is a bit funky. Sometimes it just whiffs attacks that it very much should be hitting. Oh wait, I'm at very low health. Wow. You gotta love the, uh, heavily armored enemies. Wow, what was that hitbox? <laughs> the tower shield, nice. Wow, thanks, auto-targeting. I might be relying on magic weapon a lot, but... What? Excuse me? Wow. Rude. If you don't want unwanted guests, don't leave your door open. Why does that Red Eye Knight do so much damage? Holy crap. See, like... The sheer amount of damage that this guy does to me when he actually connects is stupid. And he's not dead after two backstabs? You take that fall damage. leaning on my hand weird because my hand is going numb. I hope this is at least somewhat entertaining to watch. Just me dying repeatedly.
Come over here, buddy. At the very least, the enemies here are pretty lucrative. Where is the other Red Eye Knight? Why did you come all the way down? Nope, not dealing with it. Oh, fun. Another dragon. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, just fuck me right up. I wonder, like, how close I am to the end of this game. Actually, wait, if I'm just gonna sprint past everything, I don't need that. Like, why can he just break my guard like that? Okay. Time for magic weapon. Is it time for me to poke this- Ah, uh, sad. I was about to say, is it time for me to poke this dragon in the ass? But no. What does this lever do? Did that, op did that open this door? I doubt it, but... I, I think I have almost the entire Blue Eye Knight set at this point. Is there a lever over here that I missed? No. What did that lever do? It didn't open this. Which is what I thought that it would do, but... Oh, fun, you're up there now. 
trying to mimic an amygdala, are we? I know how to time my movement. Oh, it's you, is it? My father is up above. Ha! <laughs> Not something like him anyway. A demon in his shape. I began this quest to ask my father his reasons. To drag him back to the path of righteousness. But it seems it was all in vain. Please, kill my father. In his depraved state, he can only bring peril to these lands. This key opens Volataria's mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum lies Father's sword, the demon brand, twin of soul brand. Use it to bring an end to his madness. Aww. It's a FromSoft game. Nobody's allowed to be happy in it. Ah! Cool. Just like Night City. Oh... Really? Really? You better drop your weapons for me. Oh. Fun. I didn't realize I was that low on health. Don't know why I never equip why I never re-equip this, but Maybe I was too focused on the penetrator. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion. Hey, buddy. Really? Thanks for not reading my freaking... Uh, shield bash input at all game. But yeah, if you like any character in a Souls game, or in a FromSoft game, they're gonna die. Like... Very, very few Souls game characters survive to the end of the game. Okay, buddy, get the hell out of my way. I'll take it. Really, why are you here? What? How are you still alive? 
How the hell was that fat? Why would you kill them, Labo? Why would you kill the characters that everybody likes? Also, hi Lava, how are you doing today? Because you can. doing morning. Well, I'm glad that you have decided to join us here this morning, Labba. Just ate breakfast and finished eating. Wait. I, I read that as just ate breakfast and finished eating coffee. <laughs> Gonna do your workout soon. My favorite thing is when the attacks aren't telegraphed at all. <sighs> and I know for a fact that this fight up here is, uh, its gimmick is bullshit. Or, well, I guess technically it's just a single attack of this boss's. Of course they would hit me out into the center where I would die of fall damage. I don't know. I want to give this boss one attempt before I call it for tonight. Because it's starting to get late, but... Starting to get late, and I've got work later today, unfortunately. You gotta love the, uh, the Christmas season of working constantly. I have never seen the dragon torch that side of the bridge. Wow. Okay, breathe fire over here. Thank you. Okay. Come over here, buddy.
He did drop his weapons, just like I asked. Up we go. I think I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again anyway. I love the haptic feedback feature in this game. Like, it just, it's got good feeling to it. Cause like, you can feel the gears rotating. Like the weird, like, through like the weird clicking in the controller. <laughs> That's not ominous at all. Okay. Such a cool sword. Do not. That's the spooky attack. That's the spooky gimmick attack that uh, everyone hates because it's bad game design. I don't know what that attack is. Really? That was a huge attack radius. Ow, rude. Hey, I tore a decent chunk out of him. But anyway, as much as I hate to leave it there... That's going to be where I end things for tonight. Hopefully there's enough game left after that for a full episode tomorrow. But, I guess we'll find out. Um. Let's see who to raid. <laughs> Thanks, Labba. Hey, Labba, do you have anyone that you would recommend raiding? Ugh. And thanks for the stretch and hydrate. No one on. Okay. Uh, then we will raid Pahi. If, hopefully Pahi's not getting ready to end. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. 
Um, I hopefully, depending on what goes on, I should be streaming more of this tomorrow. But, um... Yeah, so, I guess, um, take care, and, uh, oh, shit, I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally, uh, clicked off of that, sorry, uh, but yeah, I guess, uh, have a good one, and, uh, take care.